hello YouTubers um, we just finished a series on entity framework and I think it's time for us to talk about a logging a logging system I uh, I've had a lot of questions about logging systems so I think uh, we should just implement a, a really simple one from scratch and not one that comes with Microsoft or anything like that and so we can uh, talk about the basics of a logging system um, once again I'm gonna be using a uh, uh, Visual Studio 2012 and we're gonna do this in MVC4 uh, Razor. Um, a logging system is quite simple. Uh, we need to be able to register a user, to log in the user, and log out the user. Um, database wise we pretty much we need, if for simple authentication we need uh, a single table like um, a user's table with a, a user ID, a username, a password and also a password salt and then I'll, um, I'll talk about that later. Uh, the reason why I'm using a salt is because I am going to use a third-party library called Simple, uh, Simple Crypto. Um, I am not gonna go in depth on how to how to uh, encrypt and decrypt uh, a password. I'm simply going to use a third-party library uh, to do that. Uh, that's a pretty complex uh, subject, to be honest with you. I don't know much about it. Uh, there's there's uh, too much discussion out there in regards to the subject, and I'm not going to attempt to do that. Uh, if you're trying to get a login system and you can use a third-party library, you should just do that. So enough talking. Uh, let's go ahead and start. Um, let's create a new project here and it's going to be a ASP MVC4 web application and then let's just call it a, a simple simple login system that's gonna be our solution name and I'm gonna choose the basic and the reason why I'm gonna choose the basics because it comes with basic files that we're gonna use such as the uh, underscore layout uh, files inside the uh, share view folder so first thing we're going to do is create uh, the database. I'm going to use a local database directly inside the project, not a SQL Server instance someplace else. Uh, so I like to save uh, and build right away. Under the uh, app data, I'm going to right click, add a uh, new item. I'm sorry, it's outside the, the view in there. And I'm just going to call this my main DB, my main database. and by double clicking on it, uh, by double clicking on it, we we have the database and then uh, its structure. I'm going to I'm going to right click the tables and create new table. I'm going to call this the uh, uh, system users table. My first column is going to be a user ID. I'm going to make this into a uh, unique and allow nulls no. Is this unique? Yes. Is this a primary key? I'm not going to make the primary key that. Um, varchar 150. Allow nulls. No. Unique. Yes. I'm going to make the email address the primary key. So then we can guarantee uh, uniqueness in the, uh, um, in the primary key of the table. And then the password. Uh, in Vartar. Um, 200 it's a lot big we're not storing the password that the user enter let's make that anywhere between 6 and 20 characters excuse me what really what we're storing is the uh, encrypted password and that's what we're going to be storing so allow nulls no um, doesn't have to be unique like two users can, can have the same password why not right uh, it's not a primary key and then we're going to call this the uh, password salt password salt so a password salt is actually something that is generated by the simple crypto um, class and um, it doesn't have to be unique either most likely it's it, it is but most likely um, it, it doesn't it doesn't it, it doesn't have to be uh, unique but most likely will be that's what I was trying to say that that took a while so the password salt is just it's a string of text that gets attached to the original password so then it becomes a little more complicated if someone tries to reverse engineer uh, the password um, and click OK so now we have our table in here it's just uh, the email the user ID password and password salt okay so we have our table ready um, we are gonna use um, entity framework so I am going to 
add a new item again it's outside the uh, view area there but that's all right and we're going to call this the uh, main DB model we're going to generate from database the database is the uh, the main DB SDF file and we have a single table in there so click finish it's going to ask me to overwrite the files that I have I'm going to say yes and now we have our model in here I like I'm used to the word context in here just because I have been using uh, entity for a while I think entity five they changed it uh, the word context to entities I am just it's my preference you can leave it as uh, main DB entities it makes sense as well I just like context okay I'm gonna save it one more, one more time it's gonna ask me to overwrite just one or two times okay just one time let me go ahead and close this change this to Firefox in here so if so what do we have so far we have the uh, we have our database with one table and we have the the model if we try to run this I think it's just gonna give us uh, it's just gonna give us an error because we don't even have yeah we don't we don't we don't even have a, a main uh, entrance point at this point so let's go ahead and create that really quick so hopefully it will open here next time and exit so the first thing that we need to do let's stop this um, under controllers let's add a new controller it keeps going out I'm sorry about that let's call this the home controller click add and then we can double click view right click and click add view let's choose um, the main layout here let's inherit from the uh, uh, underscore layout and you see later why now at this point if we run it it's actually going to display indexing here and now we have our first page very good so the next thing that we need to do in here is create a actual model of our um, of our user so add I'm choosing class at the very bottom and I'm just gonna call this the user model the user model has uh, three properties property is string email property string password and property string password salt the user doesn't choose the password salt but we need this because later on we're actually going to uh, save it back to the database well do we need it uh, maybe we don't need it I don't think we need it okay let's add some annotations in here let's make this required not return required and we'll, we'll add the namespace needed for that let's make this required as well we're going to be passing this model to the uh, to the view um, to the login view and also to the um, uh, registration view when we want to create a new user the this is going to be uh, email and we have a we have a limit here right so view server explorer column can we see properties in here yes so the length is 150 so we're gonna make this string length length 150 max okay um, for the password let's do the same thing this is data type data type dot password oh capitalization data type dot password and then we're also gonna make length 200 well so what are we doing here string length let's make it a max of 20 characters and minimum length of six 
So let's do that. I think that's enough.